your uh, your porn star name. So your first pet of the same gender is your first name, and the street you were, grew up on is your last name. Mm. Oh, what? So my first be... male pet. I never had a male pet. Okay, okay. <laughs> you get your first female pet. Oh. Uh, Luke Donview. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that, is some, that is classy porn. Yeah. Yeah. So I would be, I'd be Hennessy Villa. Ooh. Ooh. Also class. <laughs> Hennessy Villa also sounds like a great place to go, like in Mexico and right. visit, yeah. you know? Or a really nice scotch. Yeah. My, mine's going to come out a little cowboy. Uh, <laughs> Partner Hillcrest. <laughs> wow. It's a gay porn name. <laughs> All right, Death Sight, what do you got? Oh, uh, no, mine's not as fun. Mine's uh, be Howard Bianco. <laughs> That's great. I'm like a, I'm a ranch hand. <laughs> you, you, two, you two together. <laughs> That's that's the it's the power geek porn couple. <laughs> What's the second part again? The street you grew up on, the the street you were born on, the first one you remember. I'm Lily Stansbury. <laughs> <laughs> but you sound like a director, Mr. <laughs> Lily Stansbury. <laughs> Was that a male pet? No, I've never had a male pet. Oh, okay. Uh, and then, then you're just mis- you're, then you're then you're mystery Stansbury. <laughs> Mine was the worst, like lowest quality. Buck Baxter. That's oh, no, that's oh. that is one hundred percent also a seventies yeah, porn yeah, stash. Yeah. Huge bush, tight shorts, <laughs> pool boy. My name is Buck, and I like to Baxter. Baxter. <laughs> <laughs> January 25th, 2018. Hello! Hey. And welcome to Wasting All the Time, a podcast. My name is Dave. I'm John. I'm Cody. And I'm... joining us this week, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jeremy, who is here to New permanent co host. <laughs> <laughs> we have Jeremy, and we, oh, yeah, Cameron, and Silas. Seth. <laughs> Silas. Wh- whichever you'd prefer. I answer to any noun. <laughs> <laughs> These gentlemen are joining us from the Comedy Sports Theater here in Sacramento. Mm-hmm. And we did uh, an episode of Jack Jackson with them previously. It was so great. You would have heard <laughs> on this feed. Mm-hmm. And it's great. It is great. This is six people in the studio recording all at the same time. The most we've ever tried to do. Chaos will ensue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Speaking of ensue. The rest of the episode will also do so. That was a good segue, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) So let's kick it off with a little segment that we call... Twitter Shins. Seth on the cowbell. Definitely needs more cowbell. <laughs> Welcome to Twitter Shin Rapid Balls, where we find the top three entire tweets on the entire internet or web atubosphere, and we put them to our pundits. We have a lot of pundits today. We're going to get a lot of opinions. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one, two, three, four, five-way, ha, six minus one, the five-way pundit show is going to be a little bit crazy. Are you guys ready? Mm-hmm. You ready? Uh, yeah. Fucking jump yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. I was born ready. I got opinions. Yeah, yes. All right. The top number three tweet on the entire internet. This one is from Sierra, spelled with a single R. At Sierra Kirk. Is it normal to be annoyed 24 7? Silas. Uh, absolutely. I try my best not to be. Uh, but I notice that as soon as I get out of the day or get out of bed in the morning, it's it's immediately uh, frustrating just existing. <laughs> <laughs> Life sucks for Silas. Dave, Ramon. <laughs> you know, I uh, I prefer to break up my annoyances into smaller chunks and then distribute them evenly throughout the year. So I'm, I'm do I work on a quarterly basis, and uh, it's it's worked for me in the past yeah, for the long haul. Year end, year yeah. end review of my annoyances. <laughs> John. Yes, you. Ooh, we're doing three. <laughs> Well, the, no, no, it's not normal. It's not normal, and I'm very frustrated that you would even ask that question of me. Living the dream. Cameron. Oh, well, as a licensed medical doctor, uh, <laughs> I would like to tell you it is not normal to be annoyed 24-7, and uh, if you call my office, we can get you in right away. Ah, a little bit of shilling going on. Jeremy. Jeremy. Uh, I would say it's certainly not normal to be annoyed 24-7, <laughs> considering that includes when you're asleep. <laughs> it must be very difficult to be like, oh, and then the cabbage people walking around. And- Have you been in my room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I mean, sleep apnea, so yeah, 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it, like, what if you're one of those people who's worried about always being productive? Because then, oh. like, needing sleep. 
was annoying and I don't sleeping understand. Would be annoying. <laughs> like, you know, like, Keith. oh, there's so many there's so many Netflix <laughs> things and I can't watch them. Oh, all. that's true. <laughs> or yeah. like, oh, I haven't read the Aragon series in a long time. <laughs> I know that's a pretty specific reference, but I think about that. <laughs> One word, audiobooks. All right, number two tweet on the entire internet from Jelani Martinez at Gelmart12. There's 11 other Gelmarts out there. <laughs> you got late in line. Wow, you did all this without a degree? Jeremy. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Lying, Cameron. Uh, I did do all of this without a degree, including getting my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Gutsy and probably illegal. John. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did all this without a degree. I don't know why you need to know that. I don't know what business it is of yours. If I can do the job, I think that's enough. I think that's enough, and it should be enough. Is it enough? Yes, I fucking think so. John's going to pop a vein, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I also got by without a degree doing all this stuff, but I do have degrees, but I didn't use it for this. I used it for other things that I'm not <laughs> care- comfortable sharing. Mm-hmm. Secrets and lies. Silas. <laughs> Uh, I did get a degree, and I found that I haven't used it even once. <laughs> <laughs> so, like real life, you're bringing real, real life, life, yes. And we both have sleep apnea. <laughs> nerds, <laughs> only nerds have sleep apnea. <laughs> <laughs> only cool kids breathe normally. <laughs> and the top number one tweet. I'm so excited on the entire internet from KD Hart at th3 official KD, probably the official kid in that new internet elite speak. <laughs> it's a, it's an acronym. It's I don't give a fuck. Ed Gaff, who feel some type of way, who going to pop me? Eyeballs, Silas. Okay, first off, that depends on what pop means here. Does pop mean shoot? Does pop mean soda? Or does pop mean like father me? Who's going to be my father about this? <laughs> More questions than answers. I don't Dave. give a fuck who's going to be my father. I, uh, I think you absolutely should give a fuck. I think not giving a fuck is just a way of protecting yourself emotionally. And I think if you don't put mm-hmm. yourself out there, if you're not exposing yourself, if you're not vulnerable, you're not going to live life to the fullest. Dr. Dave dropping the harsh truth. John. I'm very uncomfortable with this question because I feel like it is sexual in nature. <laughs> and that's, that's embarrassing to me. And and so I would really rather that you the, you DM me this kind of stuff because the answer is it's me. It's me. But I don't want to say that out loud. John wants to be dungeon mastered. Cameron. Uh, if if it's who's going to pop me, if the official KD or kid is a balloon, the answer is me. I'm going to pop you with my butt. Saucy. As, as a doctor. Good old doctor butt popping. Medical butt. Yeah. <laughs> you follow me at Instagram, doctor butt popper. <laughs> that's that's a very, that's I love a it very... when you call me big butt popper. <laughs> Jerry, um, I think uh, this question. We you know we're all lingering on the pop me portion, but <laughs> aren't we though? Uh, really, we have to look at the. Uh, I don't give a fuck who feels some type of way. <laughs> um, I think That's there's a lot explored. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. <laughs> everyone, literally, everyone is always feeling a type of way. <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a fuck who's feeling anyway. <laughs> Any emotion you have, I don't care. Sierra's who's gonna be my daddy? <laughs> Sierra's feeling annoyed twenty four seven. She's oh, probably got sleep apnea like a nerd. <laughs> this has been your exclusive spy way. <laughs> yeah, there was much more cowbell, cowbell that time. Cowbell. <laughs> cowbell. I think it was better served. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Well, now that we've done that, let's do this. Oh, yes. And that's, that's like segues. When the segue like goes into the musical tract. Tract? <laughs> it's a good day. It's a next to your digestive tract. You have your musical tract. <laughs> 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 All right, gentlemen. And I use that term specifically. Uh, what <laughs> misdirection? <laughs> Anyone who wants to talk about what they've been up to now is the time. So please volunteer yourselves. Um, I've been playing a lot of Civilization Five. Yes, <laughs> heard good things. <laughs> it's the only game on my computer because it's a Mac. Uh, <laughs> I, well, I have League of Legends. I have that, and I have Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Wow. Okie dokie. Um, but no, I've been playing a lot of Civ Five. Every time I win, I amp up the difficulty. There you go. Uh, so I'm at, won? I'm at difficulty five out of eight. Oh wow! Uh, almost and, half. And Attila the Hun is a 
fucking asshole. <laughs> you know, you know, a lot of people thought that. A lot of people, I've heard that a lot. Yeah, but he's so. Because you know, you go protect, you go offer the city states your protection. You're like, hey, give me that five, you know, whatever. Uh, That's what I say. And until the Huns is like, well, I took a sacrifice from you. What are you gonna do about it? And I'm just, I don't know. That's what, that is what I've been up to. I know it's not exciting. Can, Cameron, I am gonna say that seems pretty in character with. Attila the fucking guy. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but so but he can be cool about he it. He can back off. Let's let me do my diplomatic victory <laughs> and pile my skulls in a pyramid. Yeah. I'm China. Get away. <laughs> I want to know what kind of diplomatic talks are like. Hey, give me that five or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you, offer, you offer a city state your protection, and then they they give you that five. Their opinion of you goes up. Uh, by one point out of 60 to a maximum of five until you do other things for them. I just want to know, is it a high five or a low five? That's really clutch. <laughs> uh, low five is only if you leave a troop within their border for five turns. Mm. Hey, Cameron. Yeah. You can tell jokes if you want. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, I always rename, I always rename uh, my empire's cities to like retain... Some flavor of the original name, but just adding the, my name. Yeah, every time we oh, play, no. it takes like an hour for your turn to be done. Because <laughs> yeah. you're renaming every city every yeah, turn. Yeah, because if I'm Rome, uh, the first city's Rome, so then it becomes Camera Rome. <laughs> and then the second city is Antium, so it becomes Camtium. And, and that takes you a while, huh? It takes me a little while. I don't, that's why I don't play with real people very often. <laughs> what, what's China, Cameron? Oh, Beijing becomes Camjing. <laughs> Shanghai becomes Cam High. It's just, yeah. it's pretty normal. <laughs> I'm sensing a pattern here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seth, what about you? Uh, earlier we mentioned, or I mentioned, that I have a degree, but I'm not using it, and I'm trying to use it. That degree was in animation, uh, and I'm, I've am i been working on a cartoon for over the past couple months. I actually got some of the people from Comedy Sports to uh, uh, help voice for me. Nice. Uh, Very cool. And they've been looking to me to figure <laughs> out where that cartoon is. And I keep telling them that's on its way. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's down. It's coming down the pipe. Yeah. Yeah, like Disney, and then they have teams, rooms, and buildings full of animators, and it still takes years. You're doing yeah. it by yourself. Yeah, Seth. Why can't you be more like Disney? <laughs> yeah, yeah re reproduced by budding, Seth. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> well, it, it's been three months. I'm almost done with one of the character concepts. Nice. <laughs> Don't <Yeah>. tell them. <laughs> also, I, sorry, I forgot to send in an audition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> Very cool. Jeremy? Um, anything to report? Yeah, I just got engaged. Woo! What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in, what, in like a in Civ 5? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So when sometimes when you ask for Pete, I, I don't know enough Civ 5 stuff to make a, a joke about how you uh, literally just explain Civ 5 to <laughs> us. <laughs> it would be, be really cool if you could romance the other... Uh, the other get you freak on with See, Gandhi. That, that's well, I because mean, Cleopatra, that's like her whole thing. Okay, right? so Jeremy got engaged. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or if you uh, did camera romance. Though. Yeah, yeah, I got engaged. Uh, I got I got into a camera romance. <laughs> um, that's a bad one. <laughs> Uh, I, we, me and my fiance Connie met at Comedy Sports, the club that uh, you know, all three of us Aww. are from. And I proposed Run to her waste. during a uh, prom poster <laughs> during a during a, a show there because, it, you know, it's the place we met. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's exciting. Oh. Um, I, and uh, she's not going to listen to this, so I can say this here. <laughs> All right. Uh, Juicy dirt. Uh, I had no idea how much planning actually goes into yeah. a wedding. <laughs> I was like, oh, we'll take some pictures of ourselves. Uh, I kiss in front of a, we kiss in front of a bunch of people. And then we go somewhere. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if I recall correctly, during that proposal, no, she said no first. Things. Yeah, yeah. She said no? She did say no. Well, I, don't think, I don't think she audibly said no. I think her, imme her, her immediate no. objection was that uh, the location she was being proposed to in was not Disneyland. Oh, I think it's oh, important. Oh, that is. I think it's important to mention that after she said that, Cameron, who was there and uh, working the announcer booth at Comedy Sports, played the fucking... Bur -bur 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 -bur. The, well, she savagely burned you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so that's part of my... That's just ingrained in my life now. That's it. Yeah, it's part of the story. So, right, so, and, and, you know. so Seth, you be you be Connie, <laughs> Jeremy, you be Jeremy, and I will we'll recreate it. Okay, it was, it was it was good. I mean, I pretty much explained it, but sure, let's <laughs> give it. <laughs> okay, so All propose right. to Seth, hey, but, Seth. It's, but it's Connie. Seth. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Uh, and then she said yes, and they kissed and was dumb. Uh, oh. oh, and so now Cameron's going to be the DJ at her wedding, so he can do that there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the first dance. <laughs> 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 oh, very good. Dum, 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 Mockery dum. of matrimony. Mm. Love it. <laughs> I, uh, I've been playing Minecraft with my brother, and it's a ton of fun, and we're waiting for the new updates. 1.13 coming out soon. Ooh. Gonna revolutionize the game. Plug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like circles or something? Or are they gonna <laughs> get this? Not squares. Well, if you if you must know, they're gonna remove no, God damn it, some Silas. of the hard coded <laughs> limitations that meant there was no more room to add any other block types. Oh really? Yeah. Mm. So mm. they've completely recoded the fundamentals of the game so that they can add as many blocks as they want. Oh, mm. oh, well, call me when they add in mod support. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft is totally modded already. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, <laughs> hey, was that a joke? You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does feel bad. I'm sorry, Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cody, John, anything? Uh, yeah. I threw my back out on Christmas Eve. That was fun. Ooh. What? How How you already tell us Are you about Santa? That? Yeah, you did. I just wanted them to make fun of me for it. Uh, you, you unwrapped the shit out of that present. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it was Christmas Eve. I was like leaning over to get something before I went to like family dinner. I was like, oh, nope. Time to be immobilized for the next 12 hours. <laughs> Santa came and pile drived you? Like, yeah, what? It, was, it was. Those are two separate actions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. That's, that's, well, we have certainly been exciting. a busy bunch. <laughs> Um, another thing that I've been working on, I'd like to just take a moment to, uh, to share this. Uh, those of you who have been listening for a while may recall that back in July, I believe it was, we launched our Patreon page. Oh, snap. And as part of that, uh, several people, uh, were promised that they would get thank you songs. Oh. Ooh. And it's been <laughs> slow going. It's, it's not live. Don't worry. Like we're not going to do uh, one right now. I was just warming up. I, yeah, I'm just ready. <laughs> me, 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 me. I can jump <laughs> <a> <laughs> <laughs> right there with you. On that one. So is your thank you song. <laughs> it is very long. Get the fuck out. <laughs> As of very recently, I wrapped up this song thanking our listener and our supporter Gary. So Gary, this song oh is for you. Gary is a normal human man. He lives and breathes and doesn't have any knowledge of any alien plan. <laughs> he did, I'm sure he'd tell us he is on our side. We have trust in him and he in us. It's by our lives. Thank you, Gary, for your help. You make this show get by. And we know you never, ever, ever tell us lies. Don't betray us to your other lords in the sky. This first question comes from our resident friendly neighborhood human. Wink, wink. Gary Inatomus, the master of divinity. This question comes from the totally human, actual normal human person. Gary Innatomus, Master of Divinity. Ah, Gary, welcome back. Gary says, there you go, Gary. We don't need C. You're right. You're not missing anything. You're a genius. You seem to know a lot about human languages. So, good job. <laughs> good job, Gary. Of divinity. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know Rush was, oh. Rush was still active. <laughs> oh, I was going to say how cool it was that they got Freeze Pop to play that song. <laughs> Any other prog rock bands? Yeah, anyone else, anyone else thinking drum? of what band it was the whole time? <laughs> See, I thought this was going to be like a, like a Tony Second Jingles, like whole, we are in for the whole, <laughs> yeah. the whole this, is the this is a real song. <laughs> There's a bridge in everything. <laughs> Gary is a patron of our show. He supports us with a donation every single month and for that we are eternally grateful so, thank you very much thank gary. you for being an early adopter gary he also is actually a master of divinity that's like, oh, his wow. real real job title like he has a master's degree in uh do es eschatology do you major in that eschatology you mastered in eschatology oh. Yeah, but his, he has a certificate in his house that says Master of Divinity. Oh, I was like, wow. that is the coolest thing <laughs> I've now, ever seen. And now he can hardwire the frame to play music. That's right. And you right. Can, there, there'll be a play button on it. <laughs> I, hope, I hope he uses the one that we just played because then yeah. we'll get a cup of yeah. <laughs> in the back. <video. laughs> Wired to the doorbell. <laughs> but you gotta listen to the whole song. Every, every time you won't open the door until you listen to the whole thing. Here, wait, uh, wait for it. This is a true. Okay, this is a true story. So, uh, Uriah Faber's voicemail is a sound clip of him getting introduced to the ring. What? So you call Uriah Faber. Don't ask how I know this. Oh, you, that was my next question. You call Uriah Faber, and it's just like. Leave a message. Or, uh, no, it doesn't say that. It says, um, it's like, and then it goes. Ladies and gentlemen from Sacramento, Menno, Menno, California, <laughs> UFC favorite, the California Kid. Leave a message. <laughs> okay, I'm going to disregard your instructions. How do you know that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I'm a, I'm a journalism major, and I know someone else who was working on a story that uh, involved a Sacramento State UFC fighter. Mm. Ah, okay. Mm. And then they knew Uriah Faber and were trying to get in contact with Uriah Faber for uh They had his Uriah Faber. <laughs> oh. uh, you think he's ever heard that joke? No. <laughs> it sounds like when you agree to pee on someone. <laughs> I mean, <Yeah>. you're, <laughs> Dave Puns have a slow burn sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they don't burn at all. <laughs> all right, well, speaking of burning, let's burn through the format. Wow. Yeah. Man, these segues, though. Right. Right. Like butter. <laughs> Let's do it. Upwards, downwards, forwards, backwards. I say we go fruit words. Well, now it's time to play fruit words. Fruit words is a game we play utilizing cards of two, two kinds and colors. Red cards are nouns and green cards are adjectives. adjectives we will draw adjectives. one card of each color and improvise a scene inspired by these words. Dave. 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 Draw the cards. Okay. I will draw the cards now. With your real human arms. <laughs> Gary and Atomus. <laughs> Master of Divinity. And our first selection is Lethargic Legacy. <laughs> Darren. Darren, I want you to take a look at all this. Yes. Yes, Father. I mean, one of these days, this is, I mean, this will all be yours. Oh, uh, oh okay. I'm sorry. Paul, are you giving him the this will all be yours talk? Shut up. Shut up. It's going to take this time. So, all right. I know all of my brothers didn't want it because <laughs> they didn't feel like it. Make sure he takes it this time. We gotta have somebody take all this stuff. He's right here with me. I'll make sure he takes it. Jeez. All right, just get down off that really high up rock once you're done. <laughs> I paid taxes for this rock. It's my rock. I'll stand on the rock. <laughs> There's some things I'd like to change about this land, Father. Okay, fine. But the ice cream stores have to stay. <laughs> all right. But we're gonna quit taxing rocks. <laughs> Come on, son. You know this is a, a rock taxing land. How do you think I afford all these ice cream shops? <laughs> all right, fine. You tell them about ice cream shops, Joey. Look, do you want to do this? Okay. He yeah. ain't my son. I'm just saying, if you keep telling them about ice cream shops, they're not gonna take all the stuff. 
that, that uh, accent is fake. Excuse me, guys up on the rock, can you hear me? Oh, hey. I, I noticed this Sleepy Time ice cream was closed. Do, do you know when it's going to open? <laughs> is that Billy? Oh, hi, Mr. Generic. Hey, hey, Billy, how you doing? How's your dad? Oh, uh, he's, uh, well, he'll wake up someday. <laughs> oh, oh, you hang in there, Billy. I, I am. Ice cream helps, yeah. but the store's closed. Okay, I don't need any of your passive aggressiveness here, Billy. Well, I just want to know informationally. <laughs> okay, well, look, Darren, this uh, this will be your first your first uh, act here as the future ruler of this rock and ice cream emporium. Yes, yes, yes. Well, go ahead. Hey, uh, hey, Joey, you mind if I borrow your lawnmower? I can see it there in your garage. My my grass is getting real high. You stay away for my god. Damn lawnmower. I can't, I can't hear you when you're whispering. You gotta... I, I can't hear you over all this Dad. ambient wind. Dad, I've got this one. Do it, son. Joey. Yeah. <laughs> Joey. Joey's your dad. That's Billy. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's Billy Joey. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just want a milkshake. I'll make you a milkshake. But you gotta <laughs> promise... To leave us alone or something. I don't know. Okay. All right. And I'll reopen the ice cream store. Thank you. And I'll keep taxing the rocks. Thank you, son. Wow, did it actually work? Sh sh shut up. I got him on the hard sell. <laughs> <coughs> I'm just going to go ahead and take this lawnmower if that's okay. I better go stop. I hate lawnmower, Larry. <laughs> 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 Authentic legacy. <laughs> Everyone was so excited except for those two. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. How about <laughs> sensational boot camp? <laughs> oh boy. All right, privates, listen up. I don't want none of this mamby pamby soft show and coming out here. We're gonna do some goddamn jazz tap. We're gonna do some jazz hands and we're gonna do some jazz vocals, and you are gonna fucking love it. Am I clear, private? Yes, Drill Sergeant! Hoorah! I'm ready. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Yes. What, what was that? I said, I'm ready, sir. What's your name? What's your name, short body? <laughs> My name is Buck Wheatland. Buck Wheatland? Buck Wheatland, sir. Your S name, no, your name right now is Jazzy. You like that name, Jazzy? Uh, no. Give me a scat. Do some scat right now. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. That was goddamn pathetic. I kind of yeah. liked it. What, so, so what? I can't dance to that. <laughs> ain't got no rhythm, sir. Oh, I ain't got no rhythm. Oh, oh, is that right? Uh, I mean... Uh, Give me an aria. Uh, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> and then he said to the other guy... <laughs> Never give up on your dreams. Well, that was awful, except for the backing tracks. I like that. You guys all get promoted. You, you're oh. cleaning toilets. Sir, yes, sir. Now, do we all get jazz names like Jazzy got? What's your name? What's your real name? What's your real Buck terrible name? Buck Baxter. Buck Baxter. <laughs> you sound like a porn star. <laughs> that name's embarrassing enough. I'll let you keep it. Oh, no. I wanted a cherry. Oh, okay. All right. What do you do? What's your special skill, Baxter? I'm a sniper. <laughs> Sniper, like you steal people from agents? Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> we're in the jazz business. This is this is very sensational here. So, yeah. So give me give me something. Give me the musical. Give oh, me, you want some I jazz? want you to rock my socks off. Ow. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> How come they got to do interesting things and I had to sing a goddamn aria? <laughs> I like the aria. You Thank shouldn't you. feel bad about that. Drill Sergeant, may that. I ask a question, Drill Sergeant? Go right ahead. I am, I am very worried, Drill Sergeant, that I may be at the wrong boot camp right now. <laughs> what do you think you're supposed to be, weirdo? Yeah, why is your bed made so tight? <laughs> <laughs> Drill Yeet. Sergeant, am I not in the Marines? <laughs> God no, son. This is Broadway beginnings. <laughs> is that harder? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you heard him scat. That's... It's real hard. <laughs> All right, Uno Mas. How about <laughs> exotic spies? Mm. Spies <laughs> with an exotic quality. Mm. All right, please step forward. I'll take your totally legitimate invitations. 
Here oh. you are, sir. Oh, uh, with the uh, with the platinum filigree and the uh, the rare bird feathers attached, <laughs> just like all the invitations that are given out. Yes, this looks. This looks all right. You can go right in. And I'm assuming this fine lady here is your plus one? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, That's this right. is um, Miss Bianca. Miss Bianca. Pleasure to meet you. Ah, and uh, allow me to provide a name to introduce you, sir, to the to this party of very powerful Russian ambassadors. Oh, uh, the name. The name is um, Percival... <laughs> Bagminton. <laughs> yes, personal Bagminton, like it says right here next to these googly eyes on the yes, invitation. Yes. I miss Bianca. Yeah, he knows, he knows your Announcing <laughs> Lord Percival Bagminton <laughs> and Bianca. Ooh. It's, uh, Bianca is actually her surname. Could you, could you announce us again, but get it proper? <clears throat> yes, of course. Uh, I didn't take his name. Redact that. <gasps> oh. 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 A redaction. Yes. <gasps> I don't think this I'm stands rushed. out, honey. I, I, I just, I, you know, we I, just wanted to get it right. No, I, I understand that. Except, you know, we're we're trying to make an impression. I don't here. know why you didn't ask him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, but, uh, uh, sir, can I take your shoulder holster with those two silenced pistols to hang on the rack, please? <laughs> you know, I'd really rather uh, hold on to him, but you could take my coat. Oh, I'm afraid this is a formal party. On your invitation here, it says no silenced pistols. <laughs> okay. What if I just give you the silencers? Uh, okay. They wouldn't be silenced pistols. That's fair. <laughs> he explained. She explained. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to make an announcement. <gasps> Here it is. is that <gasps> Vladimir Putin? Russian gasp. It's clearly Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the Putin party. <laughs> Our doves are in the kitchen. They are available for Eating. Excuse me, Mr. Putin, sir. Where is your office? Oh. <laughs> Miss Bianca. Yes. My office is located on the second floor. Down a quiet hallway where no one is hanging out? Very good. Oh, it is right across from the billiards room. There is oh. lots of clacking of balls. <laughs> sir, I have your Putin pop. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It is incredible how he eats it in one bite. <laughs> I learned from Bear. <laughs> okay, honey, this is what's gonna happen. Okay. I'm gonna go dance for everyone. Okay. And you go in his in his office and steal the plans. Okay, I really wanted to go play billiards though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you go fast, maybe there'll be time afterwards. Okay, but uh what if I play billiards with Mr. Putin and and you go do the thing that might get you shot? But I'm an exotic dancer. I could dance. <laughs> okay. Oh, these shoes come off. <laughs> All right. Oh man, whoever's not playing billiards right now is missing out. Oh, this is you some I great billiards. Go. I just won forty-five Go. rubles. Go. There's fireworks <laughs> in every pocket. American dollar. All right, Jones, you gotta keep these hollow safe. Nobody gets through this door. That's what Mister Putin said. You got it, sir. I'm on it. Ain't nobody coming through these halls no how. Also, Jones, I love your new cowboy hat. It's a brave look for you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I've been trying out a lot of different things. All right. You you uh, Jones, crazy question. If you knock if you were knocked out and your uniform got stolen by a double agent, would you tell me? I mean, I, I know it's crazy, but I'm just like no, probably would just despawn and respawn somewhere else, sir. <laughs> As is my nature. That's how we all work. That's right. Oh, hang on. There's a guy coming. Uh, it's a p positions. It is. Okay. <coughs> Hi there. Uh, is this the billiard room or is this uh, Mr. Putin's office? I get kind of turned around and. Um... This is Mr. Putin's plan storage room. Plan storage room. That's yes. His office. That's the office. Okay, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go play some billiards then while uh, Miss Bianca is going to do a dance. Oh. With... Mm. I thought I didn't have to dance anymore. No, no, I, wait, what, we talked about I this. I was going wall. in his office. Oh, they're I, arguing. This is awkward. Did, I'm going to face this wall and not turn around. <laughs> Give them their privacy. Oh, no. Fine. Okay, fine. I'll dance. Just, just, 
Okay. La 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 dancing. <laughs> oh, this is good. You should Kill turn you. around. Oh, all right. I am turned around now. Wow. <laughs> Attention. <gasps> look I've, at her dance. I've been There's in, definitely no reason that you should look at the door. I have been informed <laughs> by my security cameras. <laughs> That someone has broken my no dancing policy. <laughs> this is a Putin party. There I... are billiards, there are Putin pups, and there is no dancing. I'm sorry, that was me. Miss I just sometimes I feel the music and I have to, I just have to move. Mm, yes, traditional music. Russian music is the most romantic <laughs> sound. It's energetic. <laughs> I am engorged. <laughs> All right, well, we're not getting past that one. <laughs> and then he gets away. <laughs> <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> so if you like that, it's a little taste of a Jack Jackson episode. <laughs> Not many people know that Russians invented the circus too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. That was fruit words. And now we will take a little break and we will be right back after this. Want to contact the show? Well, get out your pen and paper and let's remember the hand cramping that is writing. First of all, you can go to wastingallthetime.com slash contact and you can submit questiones and listener suggested scenes there. If you just want to send us an email, you can go to timewastepod at gmail.com. You can find us on Twitter at timewastepod, Facebook at facebook.com slash timewastepod, or you can text or call us on the hotline at area code 916-235-3337. How's your thumb hanging in there? Is it burning yet? <sighs> Handwriting, I remember that. Anyway, reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Now let's move on with the show. All right, as promised. We are moving on with the show, and we'll do so thusly. Well, every week on the podcast, I choose an improv game, and we try to play it. And this week's improv game is called Press Conference. Yay. Three or more <laughs> players. One player is a character giving a press conference about a major news event involving them or the organization they represent. The other players play journalists asking questions at the press conference. A word or general subject is chosen, and the press conference plays out from that suggestion. The journalists are encouraged to use their questions to add often unflattering details to the story, while the character giving the press conference attempts to spin the narrative in such a way as to put himself and or his organization in the best possible light. Hey, I think we played this one I, when last time I was on the show. Oh, maybe we did. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> so we can't play it. Change the game. <laughs> F minus minus. <laughs> do we have any, anybody want to be the press any officer? Any volunteers? Anybody Seth? at all? I, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> we all uh, slapped Seth as soon as we heard <laughs> the, <laughs> this would be the game. Gotcha. Uh, you are holding a press conference about a recall on buses buses <laughs> got it <clears throat> all right thanks everybody for coming i know this is really short notice uh but uh i assume we're all here today because of the massive bus uh, recall uh turns out most of them were shot into space we apologize for that shouldn't happen again i'll be taking any questions you might have uh, I, uh, hello over yeah. here i got one right here oh, 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 you over here uh, is, uh, has it been confirmed that the school buses, uh, in the recall are magic? Uh, we cannot actually comment on whether or not they are magic. That is a company secret. Our, uh, our R&D division has been working day and night, uh, but they're kind of on the frizzle over here. Uh, we're trying to figure out a way that we can release this to the public, but I can't be sure for now. Sorry about no that. No comment. I should have stayed home today. Uh, yes, over here. Hi, uh, Phil from the Times. Um, look, I was. Hey, hey Phil. Can, we, can you confirm uh, whether or not the buses were in fact properly pressurized when they went into space? 
Uh, that was actually what caused this uh, recall in the beginning. Um, <laughs> Because they were shot into space as per the plan. The problem was they were standard buses uh, with no seals uh, and an extra tire, which mm. we didn't understand. Uh, but no, there was there was no pressurization, no depressurization. Uh, we were lucky that there were only humans on that flight. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, sir, yeah, 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 sir, yeah, yeah, sir, sir, hi, uh, Tommy Thompson from the uh, Sixteen Wheels or More Review. Um, uh, we just wanted to comment on the uh, the, the confirmed rumor that uh, uh, Mr. Musk, Mr. Elon Musk, was involved <laughs> in this, and that the buses were supposed to return to Earth. Uh, do you have any comment on the on this? Uh, yes, unfortunately, the bus X program had to be scrapped uh, when our flight times got confused with the SpaceX launches and a uh, few of the buses happened to unfortunately uh, land right into their rockets. You think with all the space and sky and it's vastness, it, emptiness, yeah. that wouldn't have happened, but ours, theirs shot up at a 90 degree angle. Ours shot at a 45 uh, and we happened to be about two miles from the, their launch, so... Uh, yes, over here. In the Hi, Mike Mulligan from the New York Times. Uh, Good to see you. There are some videos on 4chan uh, <laughs> Great of, website. Of, a, of a mysterious uh, red-haired woman uh, being executed somewhere in the middle of the uh, of the Middle East, uh, <laughs> and uh, then very frequently your, your, your logo was shown during that. Uh, is that red-haired woman at, at all involved in these magic school buses? Oh, uh, yes. She is... 100% involved. This was all her idea. Well, why was she executed is my main question. Uh, we don't try to explain her decisions. She is the CEO. <laughs> so your CEO was executed? <laughs> yes. We were only uh, only undergoing procedure per her guidelines. Was there a coup? Uh, if there was, it's only so that she her could guidelines. eventually rise to power like a phoenix from the ashes. <laughs> It's a power play. It did it a lot in the 70s. Uh, well, 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 yeah, no, yes. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm way in the back. Uh, oh. Yeah. You're going to have to speak at a normal human volume if you want me to hear you. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, so, uh, oh, gosh. Um, is it true uh, that one I'm of- sorry. Are you for Nick Kids uh, or- uh, uh, Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um- is it true that uh, one of the buses hit hit the moon and and smashed the moon? Uh, <laughs> yeah, why is the moon all weird? Uh, Some of you may have noticed. I that too. Hey, what's with yeah, the moon? moon. So, okay, it looks took like most of you have took noticed. Took my kids to the beach last week and we couldn't surf. <laughs> yes, uh, it turns out that all of the tides have stopped. There is no more uh, because yes, one of our. Uh, buses unfortunately crash landed into the moon. Uh, the rockets never gave out though, and the moon is being pushed slowly towards Mars. It was really, it was really nice of you to let us have this interview in this fallout bunker as the world dis was destroyed around us. Uh, we will need to choose one of you to eat. So uh, uh, over here, I vote for Phil. Yes, over here. Hi, Phil from the Times again. Uh, I would like to volunteer to be eaten. Uh, all right. Well, oh. we were going to draw lots, but oh, oh, if we I have volunteers. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just do that. Let's no, just do that instead. It looks no. like it looks oh. like Phil's down. Give me a bite. Uh, mm. Wait, when does this happen? I wonder happen? if he's really filling. <laughs> oh, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I'm a fan of your Uber deadpan delivery. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, that was totally this. This is a very serious <laughs> press conference. In, in this the moon book. is gone. <laughs> Destroyed by a bus that launched in the air at 45 degrees. It's exactly 45. <laughs> I'm gonna need to measure that Earth spinny shit just launching at 45. Oh, the new Tesla looks really nice. <laughs> Tesla bus. Busla. That's the answer. Busla. Busla? Hmm. All right. Well, that was that. <laughs> and I'm sure we are all journalistically edified at this point. Those so, words. codified. Let's do one more thing and then we'll call it quits. This is the final segment. Welcome to Cody's Words of Wisdom. Soak up the knowledge. Cody's Words of Wisdom. 
If you've ever had any number of peas in your mouth before, you know those little suckers can sting. So before you tell them off and tell them to get on that goddamn bus, you need to know what size shoes are they wearing? Do they have prints on them? Are they leopard print? Does your old girlfriend still have your records that you lent to her 15 years ago? She's probably not alive anymore, so you need to summon her dead spirit and exercise every single note you can out of it because her new boyfriend is probably an ogre. He's not gonna allow any kind of hanky-panky in his neck of the woods. So don't touch that dial, but if it is electrified, you can make sure your tongue's gonna give a little bit of a squeaky squeaky because Jerry Rice himself is on hand to do the coin toss for us. I don't know if any of you have ever seen him do a tap routine, but my God, my shorts were on fire. So, before that mail envelope comes in, you want to put a little bit of your blood on it and see, oh, does anybody like to taste my blood? No, they probably don't, because you have not been to yoga class in six weeks. Swear to God. All right. <laughs> Is that different every time? <laughs> no, that's, that's the one they do at the end of every episode. <laughs> That was cool. Thank Cody, you. Is, Cody is very wise, and uh, he likes to share that with everyone. I do. It's uh, try to <laughs> so much wisdom encapsulated in one short segment. It's sometimes it's beyond mortal minds. <laughs> Certainly beyond mine. <laughs> sometimes it's beyond mine. I just channel it. All right. Well, thank you so much for listening. If there's anything about this episode that you liked in particular, then please go over to wastingallthetime.com slash vote and let us know about it. We'll take a look at that again at the end of the year when we put up our top ten list. Wrap up, it's great. If there's anything you didn't like, go to Jack Jackson on iTunes and leave a bad review. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five Actually, five if there's uh, anything that you did not like, please uh, tweet at me directly, at Jay Hansen himself. I never check that, so you won't hurt anyone's feelings. <laughs> but until next time, my name is Dave. I'm John. I'm Cody. I'm Seth. <laughs> Jeremy, this is your moment. Yeah. You're very excited. I'm waiting for you. Oh, you want an anchor. Okay, I'm Cameron. And I'm the anchor, Jeremy. <laughs> and I'm Seth. <laughs> <laughs> and we wasted all of the time. Thanks bon voyage. Damn it. <laughs> Good night, folks. <laughs> Congratulations, you've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. If you enjoyed this show, then please consider subscribing on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher, or follow us on Spotify. If you really enjoyed the show, then head on over to patreon.com slash timewastepod and become a supporter of our time-wasting efforts. Now, that was a lot of things I just threw at you. So if you forget all of that, just head on over to wastingallthetime.com. And there, we have all the answers. So please volunteer yourselves. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, I was excited. He did, was, it, he did a countdown, but I uh, counted on his fingers. Uh, uh, but uh, none of us were on the same page about <laughs> yeah, that. I thought, I Seth, thought, why don't we start with you? I thought we'd all start talking at once. That would be oh. a bit. There's so <laughs> many of us. Tell us that first. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. In a second, we're going to do a bit. Right. <laughs> it's going to be unexpected. <laughs>